Hey, how's it going, everyone? I have another new product to review today for you. These headphones were sent to me by the amazing people over at Aftershocks. Huge thank you to them for sending me this out for review. These are their Trek set of titanium headphones, featuring a very innovative uh, bone conduction technology. So basically what bone conduction is, is it emits uh, small vibrations in your cheekbones, so we can feel fully immersed in whatever you're listening to. Now these headphones come in a couple of different colors that you can pick up. They have Ocean, which is blue-black, Ivy, which is green and black, and Slate, which is gray and black. Now let's take a look inside the packaging and see everything that these headphones have to offer. First inside the package, we get a warranty card. Now the cool thing about the Aftershocks is they come with a two-year warranty. And to register your product, it's very simple. Just go to bit.ly slash register my trucks. Provide your serial number on the back. Now, if you have any trouble registering the product, you can just email them at support at and their customer service team will contact you back immediately. Next, inside, we get a quick uh, user guide to let you know how to operate the headphones and some of its key features. So, I'll let you pause and read the video for yourself. But some uh, quick little things they have uh, one button that's multifunctional. So, if you uh, click once, that activates the uh, play pause. If you double click while the music's playing, you can skip to the next song. To answer and end calls, you just have to click once. And if you're in call waiting, which is a pretty cool thing to have on the wireless headphones, you can click once to switch between the users. For some of the functions, to power on and off, you just press and hold the power button for a couple seconds. To mute, Press and hold the both buttons for two seconds while on a call. You can also change the EQ setting, check battery status, and even adjust the volume. So next inside, they were nice enough to throw it in a really nice carrying pouch with some Aftershocks branding on the front. Now this is a very uh, soft uh, material, so that way it's uh, going to be breathable and your headphones uh, won't overheat inside even on the hottest of days. So now first take a look on the inside, it does come included with a strap, so if you want to put this around your hand or you can attach it to your backpack. There's also a couple of accessories in here. To avoid the outside noise, they do include a couple of earplugs, as well as the micro USB to USB charging the cable. They also were nice enough to throw in a couple of ear wings. So you would put these on your headphones just in case you're doing a, a vigorous uh, movement or exercises so that way they don't fall off Quick your head. Quick little uh, guidelines uh, for storage and maintenance. You want to store the headphones in a cool and dry place. The working temperature should be between 0 and 45 degrees Celsius or 32 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. And now I do want to point out it notes that if you're in a hot or humid area, it may reduce the life of the battery. And also, uh, before you charge the, your headphones, don't charge right if they're exercising. So that way, in case the sweat is in the charging port, which could lead uh, to uh, the short circuit then. So next we have uh, the headphones themselves. Right off the bat, I really like the ergonomic uh, design and how uh, flexible they are to accommodate uh, most head sizes. So now taking a quick look around the headphones, on the right hand side you get your volume up and volume down buttons as well as your uh, charging port. You see you have uh, some Aftershock logos on the left and the right headphone. On the left uh, speaker, this is where you're going to get your uh, power button. And then also I do want to point out on the right hand side, this mm -hmm. is your indicator light to let you know when the headphones are charging, when you turn them on. And also, when it's in pairing mode, it'll begin blinking uh, blue and red. Now let me show you real quick how to sync the headphones to your Bluetooth uh, device. What you want to go ahead and do is hold in the, the volume up button. Also doubles as the power button. So just hold down for a few seconds. And you'll hear her begin to talk, and then you'll see it bleed blinking blue and red to signal that you're ready for pairing. So for your phone, you just want to go over to your Bluetooth. Make sure you turn that on. And then it should come up as Trex Titanium by Aftershocks uh, to sync. And I don't know 
know if you heard that, but she just said you're connected, so now you're all good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try these on real quick and let you know what I think on the, how they sound and how they feel. So as you guys saw, that's what they uh, look like uh, when you're wearing them. They fit very uh, natural and comfortable. And with the type of material they used, they definitely feel like if you were to do excessive uh, movement, they would keep your head uh, nice and cool. Now this being my first pair of bone conduction headphones. At first I was worried about if I raised the volume up to full blast, that it would create too much uh, pressure on my head. But it's actually just a little bit of a tingle on the sides of your head. So it's not that too bad. And I feel like I could listen to any music or videos for a very elongated period of time. And also I want to point out, by uh, asking people around me, even at max uh, volume, they can hear it uh, very little, which is good if you're in a crowded area, so that way you don't disturb anyone around you. Now that's my quick look at the Trex Titanium by Aftershocks. Once again, huge thank you to them for sending me these out for review. If you want to pick one of these up, I'll leave a link in the description down below. They currently retail for $129.99, so about $130. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more future videos like this. And as always, thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.